New Zealand Stitch Bird. Today I thought I would make up that fabric that I mentioned the other week, the beautiful yellow, I put a pick of it up here, with the yellow, blue and cream background. So I've decided to make the Tinley skirt with the wee pockets in the front and I'm just doing a wee mini sew along today as well so you can see how I put it together. Anyhow, um, I'll just put the camera down and let's get started. Right, I'm um, just cut out the Tinley skirt. So instead of cutting the waistband out flat, because you only need one of these, I folded it, put it on the fold so I have one, one piece for the front waistband. And you also need to cut a piece in interfacing as well. The next part is I have two of the pocket pieces cut out one of the back pieces which is on the fold so when you open it out the back piece is in one piece right and also have a front piece which is here Again on the fold, the difference with the front piece is you have the slant for the pocket. So that's the front on the fold. Here we have the, the two pocket bags. So those other two pocket pieces I showed you are to go right sides together on the front which I'll probably do first actually. I'll pin those and get them stitched on. So that's my first step. Right, firstly I interface my edges with two strips and ironed them on. And now I'm going to pin the pocket fronts to the front, right sides together. And then I'll be stitching in a 3 8 seam. So I'll do both of these and I'll go ahead and stitch those. And we'll come back. Right, I've stitched in my 3 8 of an inch seam. And now I'm going to, going to press the pocket flat, seam towards the pocket. And then I'm going to edge stitch along the edges here just to make sure that the pocket sits nicely on the inside of the skirt. Right, I've edge st stitched along the edge, sort of a couple of mils from the edge. I usually use my presser foot and just line it up. Now I'm going to fold that flat and give it a press. And then I'm going to line up my pocket right sides together and pin it around the edge and I'm going to stitch around the edge and I'm also going to overlock the edge as well just to finish the edges. So I'm just going to quin that, pin that quickly and I'll do the same on the other side. So when you turn it over you have the, the back of this side of the of the pocket coming out so that's finishing off your side seam and then you've got your pocket now I neatly have overlocked the edge around my pocket I'm going to fold back the pocket so it's nice and neat on the front line up my side seams I'm going to pin those and we're just going to stay stitch along here just to hold all this together. So when we go to stitch the waistband and the side seams, it's not going to move on us. And that's going to keep it nice and even. So I'll do that now on both sides. So now I've stay stitched my waist and side seams, just holding the pockets in nicely. And I think now we move on to the back. So we're going to be pinning the side backs and side fronts together and we'll finish those seams now. So 
make sure I've got this up the right way. So I'm just going to I think it's the right way. So I'm just going to pin the side seams together along this edge and stitch and I think I'll overlock as well because it'll just make it a wee bit stronger. So I'm going to do that now, then we'll come back and see what's the next step. Now I've stitched and overlocked both side seams. I'm just going to press this and put this to one side. I'm going to start on the waistband now. Apply it to the front piece of the waistband, I've applied interfacing and ironed that on. To the back piece, which is the longer piece, I have folded it in half with wrong sides together. And you do three rows of stitching here on the back for the um, elastic casing. So I'm actually going to mark it because for some reason when I do this, I never get them even. So I'm actually going to mark it with a pen. This pen is water erasable. Absolutely fantastic for sewing, stitchery, that kind of thing. So it just requires a little bit of water and it rubs out. So I'm doing my three half inch rows of elastic, measuring from the fold line. So I'm going to do all three. And then the next step is to find your elastic. Now, I couldn't find anywhere in the pattern that said how much elastic you needed. So it's a bit of trial and error. I ended up using strips of 22 inches long, but everyone obviously will be different. So it pays just to put it through the casing and temporary pin it and just try it around your waist just to see how it feels. And we'll get to that stage and we'll come back. All right, there's my three rows of stitching, half an inch apart. Works perfectly when I mark it. For some reason when I don't, it gets all wobbly. So that's turned out really great. So I will now get my elastic threaded through and just temporary pin one end. And I'll probably stitch the other end just to hold it in place until we're ready to put the pieces together. Right, so just make sure your elastic is sitting flat. It's not twisted. I've allowed plenty on the ends just to hold with some pins. And I'm just going to undo my um, bobkin. Easiest way to thread elastic has a little, little sort of a clasp, and you tighten it up with the slide down piece. So now I have got my elastic installed, and I'm just sort of evening it out, make sure it's all sitting nice and flat. The next step is we're going to encase the sides. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold it over the top of the elastic. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stitch across there first so that this doesn't come undone. So I'll do that and I'll... Okay, so I've just stitched over the edges and I've left my pieces long so I think that's looking about the right size. I can always come back and unstitch that and let a bit of it go. So I'm not trimming those off just yet till I've tried it on. I've marked the centre on each side of the front waistband. So I know that that needs to line up with the fold of the waistband. And I'm just going to tuck it in like so, so it meets up. And I'm just going to pin it and stitch. And I'll do that on both ends. So I'm going to fold over again, lining up the little mark on the fold, making sure all my edges are even, both on the sides and at the bottoms, so they all line up, and pin it, and we'll stitch that, and then we'll have a go at trying our band on, make sure it's not going to be too tight, or too loose. And then we're ready to attach it to the top of the skirt. Well, I actually had to um, extend out my elastic, so I'm pleased I didn't cut it off. Stitched it across, folded it back, given it a good press. So now we're up to putting the waistband to the skirt. So I'm actually going to put this side. I'm going to go through and use my water to take all that marking off a bit later. So you, you measure up or you mark up the front seam with the edge of the pocket 
and we'll pin that and I'm going to go around and pin, pin it all together. There's notches also to line up on the side seam. I'm just going to flick my side seam into the back because I have overlocked it. And just carry on around to the other side so we know where we're going. So lining it up with the pocket again. And then that side seam notch, there he is. And then I'm just going to line up my centre backs and my centre fronts. And I will then be stitching it all the way around. And then I will be overlocking it. So I'll go ahead and do that and show you what that looks like. Okay, so I think it could look quite cute with the band around the bottom. And I like mixing knits and wovens together sometimes. I think it can sort of go to my sort of casual look that I like. Anyway, we'll see what it turns out like. If I don't like it, as I said, I will revert it back to just a short wee skirt just to wear casually. On the bottom, which I thought I was going to do, I just decided just to hem it up with a bit of bias tape and top stitched it on the other side. So just a really simple. Anyway, um, just to finishing off that skirt, I decided in the end just to put a little narrow hem along the bottom. I used some bias tape. So I'll put a pick of that up there. And that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed my wee mini sewing along and I um, look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye now. <coughs>